The beautiful Manny Ramjan Stadium in South Trinidad welcomes us for yet another edition of Chasing Goals. I'm your host James Saunders and today we witness the first semi-finals of the girls Coca-Cola Intercol Carpichama East versus Pleasantville Secondary. We speak to the coaches, we speak to the players, we check out the fans, all the excitement and all of the action but most importantly we find out who moves on to the grand finals. The breaches are filling up but hey saved you a great spot as we check out the girls in the call semi-finals football is a taste distinctive from the first minute sometimes it's unforgettable and other times not so much a taste that may cool you down or set you on fire it doesn't matter how you taste it but if you taste it for real it will always taste like glory Come out to support your favorite teams at the Coca-Cola Intercol 2017 season. Well, it was kind of tough in the second half. The, two, the both teams started the battle against each other. The motivation from the teammates make it a little easier for us. Well, we feel great. First time reaching so far in the finals. So we look for a victory again. This is the first time in school ever reached so far in this competition. And all we just want is a victory. Uh, it was a task because coach sent five players on me. Five players was on me marking and marking. I couldn't move but I couldn't give up at the same time. I just push myself until I get through one and score one. Second one, I hit the cross bar. But I supposed to score but I didn't score. What we're trying to do is to get the players and they're more interested, educate the parents too. Because a lot of times parents don't realize what the child's what child destiny might be and they try to force feed them totally academics and the child that's in might be in sport, might be in football. Copy time always coming to come a lot us harder and I had a lot of work to do because I had to play defense and attacking for my team. And I had to man mark a fear at a point in time, which was a lot of work. Well, boy, this is something I must add up. Look, Jim Saunders, boy, he put me on the spot. Saunders, boy, yes, I want to know. But you asking Brian London to extempo. Well, right now, I'm going to say it plain. And when I'm done, boy, I hear talking again. We just chased a goal, as you could see. And the next goal is to win the Intercol Trophy. <laughs> And just like that, we're back for semi-final number two, Bishops East versus Bishops Sport of Spain. One of these teams will be moving on to the grand final to face up against Pleasantville Secondary. The beautiful St. Augustine East Trinidad is our venue today. Hey, the coaches are ready, the players are ready. I'm sure you're ready. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Um, well, it had a little bit of tears after the game because I was kind of disappointed that we didn't come out to the win. But overall, both sides played great football. And well, the goals win matches. We were only able to capitalize on the goals. So yeah, well, we, we're not taking that. When you have a setback, the comeback will be greater. So next year, we're going to Adam again. Ecstatic. We've never played this team before. It's a new, fresh team for us, and I'm honestly very impressed with our performance. Our game plan was just to be relentless. We knew sooner or later it would come, we would have an opportunity, and it would just to capitalize on it. It's the best season we've had yet. This is the best team we've had, and we really feel like if we're ready for this finals. Getting to the final was, I would say, the target, but 
winning the final on the day, that's even going to be greater. Coming into the game, we gave the game, I gave the game a name. We called it Bob, Best of Bishops. And that was, you know, lunchtime, I had a meeting with them and just briefed them on what we needed to do. And I think that the girls performed. Looking forward to the final on Monday, I think all the girls need right now is to get some rest. I think that girls football on the whole should develop a little more in terms of sponsors putting a little more into it and raising the bar for the level of the girls to you know get as good as the boys as I would say. Can you hear that? That is the sound of excitement after another nail-biting edition of Chasing Goals. Bishops Portersfield getting to the final on the back of a 1-0 win over Bishops East right here in St. Augustine. Hey, we're going to dance, we're going to celebrate until the Grand Finals. Bishops Portersfield versus Pleasantville Secondary. Don't you miss it. Bye-bye. Well, boy, this is something I must adopt. Look, Jim Saunders, boy, he put me on the spot. Saunders, boy, yes, I want to know. But you asking Brian London to extempo. Well, right now, I'm going to say it plain. And when I'm done, boy, I hear talking again.